thousands without running water for a fourth straight day. But according to Governor Tate Reeves there in Mississippi, relief may soon be on the way. He tweeted yesterday, quote, we are installing our emergency rental pump at Jackson's water plant. More to be done, but the work is happening at an incredible pace, end quote. Kelsey Kernstein now explains how this is impacting businesses in the state's capital. Kelsey? Well, Mitch, today there actually is some hope in the area. In fact, Mississippi's emergency management is distributing 36 truckloads of water a day at seven different locations. But businesses telling me that they're frustrated, they're scared, saying this is like COVID happening all over again, trying to stay afloat with little to no business. We are not the oasis in the desert. That's for dang sure. Jackson's water system is failing, and the water crisis is threatening current and future businesses in the area, affecting 150,000 plus people. It's making many feel overwhelmed, concerned, and angry. From a restaurant standpoint, it's costing them a fortune, but from a from a just lifestyle for everyone that's that's a resident of of Jackson, it's it's just a pain in the. At some point, you just have to bite the bullet, and do it, and get out. And there, like I said, several restaurant owners have been able to do that. The city's water system has been plagued with problems for years, with deferring maintenance for more than three decades. A problem officials say will cost two billion dollars to fix and repair. We're going through this boil, not only the boil water, you know, the you know, being without water, you know, is going to 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 make people. They're just, they're mad now. You know, we're, we're, we're upset. Restaurants are trying to keep their doors open, but some eateries are spending more than $300 a day on canned soft drinks and bottled water. Residents waiting in mile-long lines to get supplies. Business is already down more than 20% compared to last August. For Chris Carter, the extreme water troubles forced him to shut down his establishment yesterday. I'm frustrated and irritated with the situation that I'm left with. Um, as a business owner and also for the other business owners. This is a big ass speed bump. There's no doubt about it, but uh, we'll overcome. Grocery stores and retailers are obviously finding it very challenging to keep those water bottles on the shelves. And for those forced to use tap water, they're instructed to boil the water for three minutes before using it to drink, brush their teeth, and cook. But here's the thing the water, even if you boil it, Adrian, it has grit in it. Grit you in can the only water. imagine no fresh water. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.